As investigators pick through the bombed out remains of the cafe where military blogger Maxim Fomin, otherwise known as Vladlin Tatarsky, was killed, the hunt was on for this girl, Daria Trepova, seen here carrying the small statue thought to be filled with explosives, which she'd presented to Tatarsky shortly before the bomb went off. The question is whether the 26-year-old knew what the statue contained. In a statement released clearly under duress, she admitted she'd brought the statue to the cafe, but refused to say who'd given it to her. Russia's investigative committee claims that Trepova was working together with Ukraine's security services and with Alexei Navalny's anti-corruption foundation, which is labelled both as a foreign agent and an extremist organisation in Russia. Her husband believes that she was framed. Street food bar number one once belonged to Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin. As he hoisted the flag over the Ukrainian town of Bakhmut, claiming he'd finally captured it, he dedicated the flag to Tatarsky's memory, adding this in a separate audio message. Tatarsky will have had many enemies. A former convict, originally from Makievka near Donetsk, he had fought in separatist battalions against Ukraine since 2014. And as an ultra-nationalist blogger, he did not shy away from criticism of Russia's military command either. Kiev denies involvement. But on the Russian front lines, his name was remembered. Dynamic Day Sky News, Moscow.